Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Last we left off, we explored the, what was it, Rep, Repcon headquarters. We got all the way to New Vegas, and now I have to go in through Freeside, question mark? Because there's no, like, entrance to this weird city. So... Gambler Boris? This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the others this time around. I don't know who you are, Oris, but you seem lame. Uh, you know, for a city, this place is pretty freaking barren. Um, meat stand? Need some grub? I got you covered. Cheap and filling. Uh, what are you serving? Typically, I find it goes down better if I leave people guessing. So, what do you say? Want some? You'll be. I don't want to eat your weird meat. I'm sorry. That mm, does not sound good. Uh, train tracks. Mystery meat. <laughs> Copy girl. Hello. Welcome raiders. Thank you so much for joining me today. I literally just got started. Uh, welcome, welcome. Comfy slime. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hello. Uh, if this is your first time here, hi, I'm Clara Dogford. I'm a dog girl who loves role-playing games, RPGs, JRPGs, Pokemon. Um, I'm playing Fallout New Vegas for the very first time, so please no spoilers. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but we, we literally just got to New Vegas, so that's been pretty fun. This is a fort. What's going on here? Who are you? Followers guard? Um, why is there a fort here? What is your purpose? Who are you? Julia. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. You need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Well, that's sad. Uh, what do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you We're for one any year. supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Thank you so much for one year, Ayn. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. I've never played much of the Fallout games. I heard this is good. Yeah, so I've never played Fallout either. Like, I haven't played any of the Fallout games. I really like New Vegas. I recommend it. I think the story design's really good. Combat feels pretty good. Um, I like that it doesn't have a lot of fetch quests. Like, every quest feels very purposeful, you know? Um, I'd recommend checking it out. Um. Seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Okay. One year, PFFFT. <laughs> Try 15 months. JK, we all love you. Thank you for 15 months. I love how I love how the text to speech just does not understand the concept of like as a sound. <laughs> uh, which mer merchants would you be willing to make a deal with? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's or go see the Garrett's, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. Okay. Just come see me when What do you Things seem pretty rough here in Freeside more than rough it's a damn mess freeside townies are constantly picking fights with ncr civilians thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess freeside is in dire need but no one has been man enough to step up the followers can only do so much to stem the tide anything i can do to help there is always something needing done a few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community, if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Uh, this voice actress sounds very familiar to me. Whose voice is this? Uh, you said something about helping addicts? Yes, 
old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Is this Marisha Ray? No, it's Laura Bailey. That I was gonna say. I was like, I know this voice. I know this voice. I thought so. That I was like this. I know this voice. This is Serana. Who who is this? <laughs> She's great. Uh, tell me about Bill. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating all these almonds and it's making me toot. <laughs> uh, tell me about Jacob. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. Okay, uh, where should I start looking? In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Okay, I'll see what I can do to help. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. Uh, if I want to calm things down, where should I start? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally. And some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Ew. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Okay, um... What is this place? The Old Mormon Fort serves as the regional hub for the followers of the Apocalypse. Oh, hell yeah, we I like them. I am the administrator for this region. Uh, let's talk about Freeside. What's all the fuss about the water pump? Laura, Laura also did the paint grunts for the female player in New Vegas, so technically she be, she's also your voice actor. <laughs> um, no, I'm playing on normal. I'm not playing hardcore or, or survival or anything. Bill Ronte installed that pump a few years ago, back when he was sober. It was a major improvement for the community. But lately, the Kings have started charging locals to use it, and NCR squatters twice as much. That'll come to no good. All right, who are the Kings? They sound lame. They've been Freeside's gang for the past five years or so, ever since Mr. House and his three families pushed everyone else out of Vegas. They've done that sounds a lot like some mafia shit. But that seems to be changing. The flood of NCR squatters has been an affront to them. I guess that explains the situation with the water pump. Usually, the king wouldn't let his crew bully folks around like that. What do you mean, how dare? The You're gonna sit here and tell me that three families running a place doesn't sound like mafia shit? Y'all, y'all, La Familia, come on. You don't tell me that doesn't sound like mafia shit. The kings are dope. The kings are, I'm sorry. So far, the kings are lame. They're overcharging people for water and they wear goofy little Elvis hairstyles. I don't think any of that is cool. They are so lame. <laughs> You're going to extort people while wearing a pompadour, and I have to take you seriously. Uh, what do you know about Mick and Ralph? I know they sell a lot of guns, as if that's what Freeside needs. I hear Mick handles the guns. No idea what Ralph does. Who are the Van Graffs? What is with all of this? Oh, them. They sell energy weapons, which are very popular with better-heeled prospectors looking to explore mm. the wastes. Stay clear of them. Brother and sister are both psychopaths, though at least Gloria is rational. Jean-Baptiste likes killing. Uh, the Atomic Wrangler was that bar, right? A den of iniquity. The Garretts do more than their share to keep the locals drunk or high enough to stay lazy. They're thugs, on the other hand. They keep wired on chems to stay dangerous. What is it with Freeside and brother sister psycho <laughs> All right, so... So Freeside's kind of a mess is what I'm hearing. I like followers of the apocalypse. Hey. We're, we're pals. Oh, Beatrix, hello. Howdy. Uh, who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire. But it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. 
Um, I'm a little worried about what you define as fun. I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. Thanks for the hydrate. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. Oh, I bet you've seen a lot over the years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. <laughs> Sounds like you're a bit of a dom, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? No, thank you. I don't. I'm scared. Look, I don't want getting hurt. <laughs> what do you have in mind? <laughs> uh, got any advice to share? The only thing I know for certain is that I don't know nothing. I have some questions. Oh, tell me about Freeside. What starts in misery tends to stay there. Freeside wasn't Freeside until six or seven years ago. That's when Mr. House's robots rolled out of the Lucky 38 and started pushing everyone who wouldn't join him off the strip. Lots of folks died. Some scattered to the winds. The rest wound up in Freeside and seemed never to lose the habit of living like refugees. Well, that sucks. Wait, she's not a companion? She sounded like she'd be a companion based on the whole, like, I'm bored. Aw, oh, man. Um, what about the kings? What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The king himself, though? He's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. What do you think of the NCR? I reckon they care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. The locals here are just an inconvenience to them. Something to step over. She needs some milk. Stomp down. <laughs> They're here for the resources, plain and simple. Where, puppy? Hello! You got Judy and 66 tickets? That's, that's statistically actually really, really good. Hello, thank you for dripping, uh, bringing your community here. If your first time here is now, hi, I'm Clara Dogford. I'm playing Fallout New Vegas for the very first time, so please no spoilers. But like, sorry, quick sidebar. So I'm assuming this is Judy from uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. No, sorry, New Horizons. 66 tickets for a cub is actually very good statistically. That's, that's actually, that's awesome. I love Judy. <gasps> I'm so happy for you. That's amazing. First Switch stream today? Oh, <gasps> nice. I I really like streaming a Switch because it's a lot less work on your PC. Rachnitz, hello, hello, hello. Uh, wait, okay, so who is Mr. House? I need Beatrix to tell me all about this guy. Before or after the human race shot itself in the foot. I've been around long enough to have both opinions, see. Before the war. Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific, seemed charming in interviews until he became a recluse. Since the war, though, <laughs> didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back, he came back strong and killed a lot of people. That sounds extremely suspicious. He's the man behind Robco? Ah, but the fact that he was quiet for 200 years, I don't trust that. What do you think of the followers? I don't know how they do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, they're just naive. Warms their heart. Okay, and what's up with the Vancrafts? Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one, but she'd slit your throat if there's a profit in it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. Okay. Um, I was really hoping you'd be a follower. That's a little bummerino. Enjoy dinner. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's go find these guys. Um. You're just a person? Right. Yeah, you're just a local. Okay. Uh ba, 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 ba. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. 
Who? Where is that voice coming from? Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. I didn't know there were children in this game. Stop by Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs, ma'am. This is Freeside proper? Where? Hold on. I thought I was already in Freeside. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Who are you? Where are you running off to? Huh? I honestly didn't expect children to be in this game. So, Mick and Ralph's is over here? Oh, there's a red. Red light. Why is there a red light? What the hell? All mine. Can't run from me. Who were you attacking? Well, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh Dixon? Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. What are you selling? Have a look. Oh, you're selling alcohol and drugs. No, thank you. I'm not interested. Oh, this is Mick and Ralph's, but that's not I where I want to be. Bed. Where are these guys? The kids are invincible. Someone modded the game to make it not so. Skyrim's the same way. The children are invincible and people have modded that. Is that a dog you're attacking or is that your friend? Hold on, I'm lost. One of them I've... Okay, no, okay, I understand now. So I do have to go this way. Sorry, uh, stat spread. Beep, beep, beep. Here's my stat spread. This is just because... I don't know, why not? Why do I have a negative in my agility right now? Yeah, I wanted to be big brain. I thought that'd be fun. Oh, and I need the map. This, this map is not very intuitive. Okay, cool. If I just go this way, I'll find them. Oh, am I wearing metal armor? Yup. That'll probably fix it. Kase, thank you for the biddies. Hey, Clara. You made it to Freeside. I can't stay because of family stuff, but good luck. <laughs> thank you. Have fun today. Are you who I'm looking for? Hey! You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Um, Julia Farkas says you could use some help. Julia's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong. As long as I get my chems. You look pretty bad. You should probably stop using chems. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. Who's supplying you? If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Mm. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was going to turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? Bye. All right, Dixon. Where are you, mister? I don't want to have to murder you, so hopefully we don't have to do that. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. You know anything about Bill or Jacob? Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. You trying to kill your customers? That's not good business sense, because then they're not going to buy from you anymore. Those fools are from NCR. I love seeing those squatters in agony. Oh. We're doing just fine before those shits came here and made a mess of things. We don't need NCR eggheads wandering around confusing things. I need you to stop supplying them. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. So the NCR is supplying you with cheap chems to keep Freeside down? Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Good. Bye. I'm glad we could resolve this peacefully. 
That's just, not a good idea. I'm just reminding you of your place in life. That is all. Hey, bud. I have some good news and some bad news, and I don't know how you're going to take either. So you're back. Got any chems for me yet? Oh, uh, yeah. The dealer's not going to deal to you anymore. What? I need a fix now. I want to help you get well. Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm going to need at least 10 shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. Oh. Combination of fixer, psycho, and buff out would do it in one shot or be strong. Here's the thing. It's actually very dangerous to just completely quit cold turkey, to my understanding. So I'm going to go for the, the cocktail. Never thought about using that combination before. Should be able to get through this with that. Okay. Bye. I'm going to collect one of each. I know I can speech my way out of it, but that's like not healthy. So. <laughs> Bye, Kazi! Um, so I'm going to have to find... Fixer, Psycho, and Buff Out, which I don't think I have any of at the moment. I have one Psycho. I have no Buff Out. I have no Fixer. Okay. Um... I'd rather not buy those. Because I don't like spending money. But it's fine. We'll figure it out. Worst case scenario, I just buy them. I mean, I could probably find them on a fiend. Spend some to make some. Yeah, I've never been one to I'll spend. <laughs> for all your shopping needs. No, spend, only save. Uh, door. Let's go talk to the other guy. So we know what we need to get for him. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> I don't want to touch the kings yet. I want to talk to our buddy. Oh, honey, are you cold? Ugh. I wonder if we can take this down, because that can't be healthy. Um, whoa, you're all kitted out. Hello. Oh, it's the Van Graffs. Oh, okay. Um. Hello, Bill. Come on, man, I'm dying here. Julie and the rest of your friends miss you and they need your help. Oh, Julie, I've really screwed things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. This has gone on too long. Wow, that was... easy. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Okay. Cool. Um... So now I just need to find some... Grub. Maybe speech is good. Speech is extremely useful. I like to be able to talk my way out of problematic situations. While I'm here, let me stop by... ...this place. Yeah, I'm gonna go murder some fiends, I think. Bill! This is not... Oh, God. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Um, what do you offer? We've got liquor, chems, and whores aplenty. Pick your fix and we'll oblige. Our only rule is no sampling the merchandise. Caps paid in advance. If you'd like to do a bit of gambling, we have an exchange at the back of the casino on the left. The followers... Oh, I don't want them to be trading with these don't... people, though. These people kind of suck. All right, let me see if I can get the followers working with the Crimson Caravan. Because the Caravan seems nice. I kind of like them. Yeah, I like speech too, because you get to like check in on people and stuff. Maybe I will just speech my way out of this quest then. Oh man, I keep forgetting. <sighs> Jumping is not a stat in this game. That's true. Alcohol can be a good st sterilizer, but it's not... But the problem is I don't want to keep the Atomic Wrangler in business, you know? They're not... 
great. All right, why don't you sleep somewhere that's like a See bed? Back. I think you're right. I've been through worse. Cool. All right, yeah, that's easier. Play a lot of Oblivion? Yes. <laughs> that was my most played game for a real long time because I didn't have a lot of games, and you can you can do a lot in Oblivion, you know. All right, cool. I helped you, Julia. So now what? He's back this way, right? There's another option. Ooh, I'm gonna have to see if I can uncover that. So far, it looks like my options are Crimson Caravan, the Atomic Wrangler, and I think the Kings? Maybe? I'll find out. Hey, good to see you. I helped the addiction problem. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the Apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Oh, wow. Can you spare sure. some supplies? I would like a stim pack. You'll need to wait another 24 hours. That's fine. Um. Cool. They like me. Wow. I like being liked. Interesting that there's no quest to help them with their... Supply Welcome. chain. Great. Yeah, I'll give you a medex. How much? Thanks. Thanks for the donation. Every oh wow, you get fame just for donating stuff? Side. That's convenient. Yay, I like that the followers and I are friends. I like them. Oh, it's an unmarked quest. Interesting. Hello. Okay. Well... Oh, you know what? I should go do that Camp McCarran quest. So let's... Camp McCarran. Y'all said it was over here, right? Alright, let's go to Novak, and then we can travel from there. Okay. Legendary Trainer, hello! Have I fallen out of Vegas yet? No, I'm just trying to clean up some quests real quick. Oh, is that where Forlorn Hope is? Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong place. Where's this quest? Oh, that's right. I was doing the wrong quest. Um, I was thinking about going to Camp Forlorn Hope, though, because that was... Someone told me to go there, and I want to figure out what's what's up with their what their deal is. That's the word. I want to know what their their whole situation's looking like. Masao, hello, welcome in. So I guess we'll just follow this road, right? Will this road get me where I want to go? No, I'm gonna have to go off of the road eventually. Okie doke. This is the, um, scrapyard, right? Yeah. Let's go around. And if I run into, like, really crazy radiation, thankfully I have that spacesuit. Which will help protect me. Am I going to that big old satellite dish? Where is my... Oh, hold on. That's... This is why I was confused. Yeah, I was going to the wrong marker. <laughs> I got a little turned around. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Gonna go this way. Bum 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 bum. Oh, you're not friends. Oh, you're legionaries. What did you just throw at me? What the hell was that? I 
would like a stim pack. And let's use our big boy. I don't want to get hit by that. Nope, I want to be... There's a guy right in front of me, and I just want to... There we go. There we go! Ow! You like that? Oh, did I die? I think I died. So maybe I don't go there yet. <laughs> I don't have ED with me, but that's fine. Yeah, I think we're gonna come back to that later. <laughs> Is this where this quest wants me? Yeah, get my Karen. Sorry, it's Eddie. I know, I know, I know. I'm getting him wrong. Is this right? Yeah. Hello? Hello? I have a delivery. And I like money. Pay up, please. Where are you? You know what? Let's see if you move in the daytime. I don't want to go looking for someone if I can help it. So let's see if they move in the morning. Nope. Okay. Worth a shot. Why is this like a bank? Oh, casino? Was there, Is this a casino in an airport? What is happening? Um... This right? Yeah, this looks right. Go right ahead, trooper. Oh, well, that was nice of you. This isn't right. Where am I? I'm so lost. <laughs> God dang it. Every building in Nevada has a casino in it. That's fair. Uh, okay, maybe this way. Let's try going to the concourse. I haven't been in a lot of airports, so I don't really know what's like normal for airports. You know what I mean? Do I want to be in the concourse for this? Where does the game want me to complete this quest? Maybe there's a hidden door downstairs that I'm missing. It's moments like these where I miss the uh, clairvoyance spell in Skyrim, and it just gives you a little path and it tells you exactly where you need to be going. The downside with objective-based quest design is it doesn't really give you a lot of details about where to go. You're back here. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Uh, what the hell is Vault 22? No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22, where to begin? I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water 
and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Uh, it sounds kind of impossible. A realist. We have that in common. A year ago, I'd have said the same. But what if I was to tell you that the wasteland can yield an endless bounty, and that the secret may lie a mere few miles from where we stand? We need only reach out and take it, and for that, I need you. Scientific discovery is never that simple. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Okay. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? That's very suspicious that they don't want me to tell the NCR. Blech. Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Tell me more about the OSI. The Office of Science and Industry. It's a rather expansive topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters. Medicine, engineering, biology. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. You're the director? Director of the entire OSI? Me? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to plant seditious ideas in my head. <laughs> no, I direct our Eastern operations. I've been responsible for squeezing unprecedented levels of power from the Thanks dam. for the flamethrower tip. I'm also confronting the problem of food production in what little spare time I have. But I've found some promising leads. You're doing all this yourself? Yes, with the assistance of my team, of course. And CR has a food shortage? Not yet, but our government understands the value of proactive thought. Our studies project an imbalance between production and consumption. Or, for a layman such as yourself, not enough food, too many mouths to feed. Mass starvation in a decade or so. What other responsibilities does this office have? We aid some programs the Republic has sponsored involving sharecropper farms in the area. But those haven't panned out too well from what I hear. There have been complaints about the amount of water we're supplying. But those are just excuses for lack of diligence, I'm sure. Welcome, Raiders! Hello! I hope the stream went well. Do you control the dam from here? Directly? No. But we attempt to maximize its output. You have no idea how difficult it is to provide power to an entire nation. Fortunately, we also have the Helios 1 facility. One of our external contractors recently got the station up and running. <laughs> that was me. His name was something like exceptional or marvelous or it was me i fixed helios one i see uh, of course you did so i guess you're not my map marker hey. yes some there we go here's the invoice from alice from alice i'll see that she's paid right away Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or oh, thank you. Bye bye. Bye, soul. Have a good one. Nope, there we go. Uh, this way. So now I just have to go back to her, right? And that. That wraps up the quest. I'm pretty sure I don't have a flamethrower with me anymore. 
I had one, but I think I sold it. Yeah. Okay, so let's go return this to Alice. Who is the caravan, right? Haven't saved in a hot second. Let's do that. Although yesterday we didn't have any crashes, which was good. I think um having multiple saves is what mucks up the file. Thank you for the stretches. Let me get in this office and get talking and then I'll get to some stretching. Hello. Welcome back. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? Ooh, sure. What other work do you have available? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Uh... Buy out Cassidy Caravans for them. Tell me about the negotiation. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, once out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave outpost. I want to know more about the problem with Henry Jameson. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. Hmm. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes. And because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. Okay, what's with the gunrunner job? The quality of the gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. I don't it's know if I want to do that gun runner job. If I'm being real with you, that just seems bad. It feels bad. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. Thanks for How hanging, Tenchi. Who are you? The name's Hostifer. Don Hostifer. Can I help you with something? Who are you? I already told you I'm Don Hostifer. Is there any work to be had? You know, hiring isn't really my... Okay. You're weird and suspicious. Um... Have to find Henry. That should be an easy one. Talk to some kid with a silver spoon about not wanting to be out here. I don't think that's going to be hard. Where is he? He's got to be somewhere in this compound. Right? No. Maybe not. I'm looking for James. Oh, wait. No, he's probably getting prostitutes. That's right. That makes sense. Hello. This guy, they had to hire some son of an investor, and he's supposed to be a manager, but all he does is gamble. So he'll probably be in the atomic. What's it called? If I had to guess. What is that creature that this child is chasing? It's deeply upsetting. Nepotism, a timeless tradition. 
It's a giant rat? Mmm, delicious. You Love that. Dead. Really dead. Stop by the silver rush and we'll get even Alright, yeah. Homeboy's probably in here. I already did Helios one, yeah. Henry, hello, pal. Shove off. You're making my luck turn bad. You're going to talk about ending your employment with the Crimson Caravan Company. Fuck no. No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? Oh, so you don't have their money yet? I'll have to let them know. What? No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. Uh, pleasure doing business with ya. Easy peasy. Love it. Um, I, I really don't know if I want to do that Gunrunner quest. You know? Like... I feel bad stealing. I'm gonna have to talk to the gunrunner owner and get a get a pulse on their vibe. Yeah, I know it's optional. I'm aware of that. I'm just trying to decide if I want to do it or not. Because I do like money. <laughs> you know? <laughs> James, thank you for the follow. Hello. Welcome back. Uh, you don't have to worry about Henry anymore. Yes, I understand that he's decided to quit outright and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. Then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. <laughs> What's your vibe, man? Would I feel bad stealing from you? <laughs> um. Cool. Bye-bye. Yes. I haven't actually been to Gunrunners yet, so we should check them out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Uh, what is this place? This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. That's pretty impressive. Where did it all come from? All Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. What you got inside there? This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. Oh, interesting. Dismiss all companions. As of right now, I don't think I want to steal from the robot. I don't know if I want to do that. Welcome in, James. Howdy, howdy. Uh... What other quests do I have? Oh, Cass. Where is Cassidy Caravans? Oh, Mojave Outpost. Okay. Um... seems like a chill bot, so I kind of feel bad gunning for him. Alright, we head south. You know what? Just to be safe, we're gonna make another save. Yes, yes, yes. I know I save a lot, but I had a stream where the game crashed, I think, four times? And I don't want to deal with that again, so... I haven't actually been to the outpost before. What the hell was that? He's so chill, he let the gunrunners build the kiosk around him to not have to put in a door. <laughs> That's funny. I guess when you don't need to, like, sleep or eat or pee... Whoa, those big... statues. What the hell? That's either a giant person or a statue. Um, what's this? Ooh, friend. Oh, no! 
not friend. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a human. Oh god. Boon. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Boon. Ow. What the hell? God dang it. Not Legionnaires again. Are you joking me? Are these guys like hunting me down? don't like me? Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, is Boone dead? <gasps> Boone can die? God dang it. I can't have Boone dying. I like Boone. <sighs> All right. I didn't realize Boone could die. It's not hardcore mode. Oh, he was knocked out? He looked dead. <laughs> okay. All right, that makes me feel better. Oh, he goes unconscious? Oh, uh, he fell asleep. <laughs> you ever get riddled with enough bullets yeah. that you just take a nap? Nah, there's no running. You don't- you don't run. You- you fight me, you die. Oh, there's some legionaries. Ow! You throwing spears at me? Ow! Are my shots connecting? I have trouble telling. How can you see me through bushes? That's not fair. Boone! Buddy, are you up right now? I could really use your help. Ow, what the hell? Oh, you crippled my arm. That's not good. Uh... This guy is very big. Oh, wait. You know what I can do? Hold on. I forgot about that. How did you live? Aw, oh, dang it. How did he survive a grenade to the feet? Can someone explain that? How do you survive a grenade? Well, on the bright side, I remembered I have that, so let me equip it. All right, Boone. Oh, energy resist. Okay. Hmm. 
Maybe if I sneak, they won't find me. Maybe if I'm super sneaky. They won't be able to detect my movements. Nope, I was wrong. I was wrong. All right. <sighs> man, this man is eating grenades and not dying to them. Boone, get out of my shots. I can't murder you. We're gonna get this. Ow! Ow! What the hell? Oops, that hurt me too. There we go. One more. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of ammo. All right. Thank you for head pats. I thank y'all. Um. Don't want you to kill me, please. I'm looking for... Let's try that. Feels bad. Why won't you die, my guy? You like that. Boone, can you take? Can, can you wake up, please, Boone? Boone. I really need to be able to see right now, game. Yeah. Come on. You're being mean. What a jerk. I know I should be going for headshots, but the statistical chance of hitting them is a lot lower. If I die now, I'm gonna be so upset. Ouch. All right, well, I'm out of impacts. That's bad. Will you die, please? There we go. God! <sighs> what do you mean I have to change my ammo type? Isn't the ammo type just set to the gun? Press 2. I'm on a... Controller. How do I do that? On a controller. Hey, Boone. Where are you, buddy? Up on the D pad? D-pad doesn't do anything. Where is Boone's bot? Will Boone just, like, appear for me? Oh, there you are, bud. 
I need... What the hell? No. Oh, thank God. I have saved. What I need is health packs. Uh, well, I saved, so let's see if I can survive with nothing else. <laughs> um, because what I want to do is buy more health packs, but I don't want to then fast travel back here and get attacked again, because that's just like a waste. So hopefully when I get to town, I can buy some stuff. We're just gonna take it nice and slow. Yeah, it sounds like there'd be a shop at the outpost, so that should be fine. Ryuko, thank you for the follow. Little, thank you for the follow. Why am I getting danger sounds? Thanks, Boone. All you, bud. I'm not dealing with that. I looted the Legion guys, sort of. I probably should have grabbed all their armor, but I got lazy. <laughs> when I play these games, I don't loot everything all the time. Because I usually play builds that don't have a lot of stamina and, like, don't have a lot of, like, weight. Uh, so if that makes you frustrated, well, you'll just have to be sad. Because <laughs> I just don't have a habit of looting everything that breeds. In the year 2271, the Desert Rangers of Nevada and the Rangers of the New Cal California Republic met at this spot to sign the Ranger Unification Treaty. Under this treaty, the Desert Rangers agreed to be absorbed into the NCR in exchange for NCR's protection of Hoover Dam, New Vegas, and Southern Nevada against the forces of Caesar's Legion. Oh, interesting. Coming from the north? Must be crazy to brave those roads. What is this place? Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big Brahmin pen for caravans. They've been stopped for a while, waiting for the roads north to clear. Or the clearance papers to go through. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. Okie dokie, any work? Nothing I know of. But if you've come from the north, means you can travel freer than most around here. Might check the barracks, someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Just be careful you go up on the roof. Got a sniper watching the road. If your gear's in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major Knight, he can help. Provided you got a pen and plenty of ink. Okay. Thanks. New Ranger Outpost. Cool, cool, cool. Mercs. Oh, Merchant. Hey there. I would like... Um... Uh, I don't like submachine guns. That was falling apart. Um... I need better armor. Probably buy some better armor. Um, Oh, do you have bobby pins? Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. Gunrunners has combat armor, but it's expensive. I'm sitting on like six or seven thousand caps. Nine thousand caps. So it might be a worthwhile investment, depending on the cost. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Hey. Uh, where's the door? Hello? How do I get in? Here it is. Oh, that's nice that they have lights on the statues. That's cool. 
Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Me, uh, NCR soldier, I guess. Reinforcements? About time we got some more hands around here. Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Okie dokie. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Uh, anything I can do to help? Help? Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. Uh, who are you? Me? I'm Knight. Major Knight. I've been stuck here dealing with these caravans for ages now, but somebody's got to do it. Not exciting enough for you? It ain't so bad. If Caesar's Legion decides to push west through Nipton, old Mojave outpost here will be the front line. Oh, tell me about the outpost. see our border guard duty mostly. It's our job to make sure the caravans can move safely along I-15 and Highway 95. Not the best posting or assignment, but it beats being sent east or patrolling the Colorado. Legion's pretty thick there. Okay. Thanks, Knight. Uh, I want to talk to that guy he was talking about. Someone back here? Uh, hello? <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> hello? Uh, hmm. <laughs> oh, Jackson. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you pick the bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, I <clears> won't <throat> make it. I'm here to assist. Also, this might this mustache is incredible. Well, about time we got a soldier and not a recruit. You look like you've seen some action. Mm -hmm. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Sounds like a deal. Thanks. I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. Sure, I'll take supplies. So when you say clear... You want me to clear some animals? I thought you wanted me to murder some, uh... Legion guys. That but that works too. Alright, let me just let me hit up their little bar situation. Because that's probably where Cass is. It doesn't look like the bar is over here. Hold on. Who are you? You're just a NCR guy, right? Yeah, okay. Is the bar also in here? Oh, you just fell from the sky. That's good. Is it this? Because I'm not seeing a door. Is it back here? There we go. Hello. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Any work? Work around here. Might check with Jackson in the main building. Or ghost up on the roof above, but watch out. She's, well, she's kind of a bitch. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that, though. Might take a bullet some night when I'm going to the latrine. Uh, anything you can tell? Not too much. A lot of caravans going nowhere. A lot of troopers going nowhere, too few prospectors here and there, but they don't do more than stink up the place. Everybody's backed up here. You'd think it'd be good for business, but most of the traders are tight with the caps, even the larger caravan outfits. Yeah, let's see if I can get some stim packs from you. Um... I don't think I have anything else to sell. I already did all that. Thank you. Uh... I wish 
Yes, you're who I was looking for. And then I'll go talk to Ghost on the roof, too. Looking for trouble? Crimson Caravan wants to buy you out. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. What happened to your caravan? <sighs> Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. So even if you have nothing, you won't sell? If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Yes. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. All right, well, I have the offer letter if you're interested. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad would spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. <laughs> Hello, Grinds! Are you sure? Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right. Trading history for a slip of paper. This outpost is the last place you want to be trapped. That Dale, hello! That's Thank you for the follow. Point. It's the caravan clearance that's got me stuck here. I'm sure this bar's getting tired of propping me up. Still, Jackson's not letting me out of his sight as long as there's still trouble up north. Mm. You settle things with him. Help the others around here, too. I'll sign the paper if it means get All right, cool. Um, any work? If you're looking to sign on with the caravan, no. Traders are bottled up tight here. Caravan works up north. Check with a crimson caravan, maybe. Gunrunners might have work. Wouldn't know for sure, though. Still, if you got a gun, guts, and feeling like going on patrol, might be some of the soldiers around here have work for you. Sorry, I just got an optional quest yeah. marker to just yeah. murder Jackson to resolve this. That seems like a horrible idea. <laughs> I, no, I'm not doing that. That's a bad plan. That's not good. Alrighty, so... Okay, so I have to just kill all those critters. I'm gonna go to Novak and sleep for some free healing. And then buy some stuff. And then we'll go do some animal murder, I guess. Didn't know that was an option. Yeah, I just saw it pop up. It was like, remove Jackson as an obstacle. That's not going to help no one. That's horrible. Technically, it's a resolution. Except, like, it doesn't eliminate the fact that the roads are still dangerous. <laughs> you know, like, none of that's getting resolved. All right, I just have to wait for the shop to open. Oh, those quests are mostly for evil playthroughs. That I mean, that makes sense. Or if you're like very anti-NCR for some reason. But in my mind, trade is good for everyone. Hello. Gonna get sure thing. Have a look. Thank you for the stim packs. How am I on stim packs now? Ten. Oh, that's better than nothing. Okie dokie. We're gonna do a little save. Murder solves most problems. <laughs> the what? Thank you for the follow. Hello. Okie dokie. Um, we're gonna go back to town. And then we're gonna go south. You have to be comically evil to be evil. Because you're constantly getting good karma for killing enemies like fiends. Ah, uh, interesting. You can kill 99.9% .9 of the characters in this game and still beat it, which is impressive when you think about it from a mechanical standpoint. 
Uh... It's interesting how a lot of these older games... Do they have essential NPCs in this game? Because I remember... Uh, Morrowind didn't do that. So if, if you didn't know someone was supposed to be alive, the game would just be like, Hey, um, you should reload a save because that's real bad. <laughs> there are never enough stim packs in New Vegas for sure. Um, Let me grab my fancy pew pew beam. You can buy karma? Is something a good deed if you just pay for it? That doesn't seem right. Like... We have enemies. Oh, we got, we got them. Uh All mine. Boom, you said all mine, but you didn't get it. There you go. Oh, wait, there's friends. Got me. Aha! If you have a high enough survival, you can make your own stim packs. My survival is garbage. It's like 13, I think. Uh, we got another one. You're gonna tell me ants are the only thing that was keeping people from going here? Okay. Brody, thank you for the follow. Hello. Isn't donating to charity just buying karma from an outsider perspective? Um, here's, I guess, a moral quandary. When you donate to charity, it is tax deductible in the United States. So, you can actually do pretty well by donating to charity. So does that, does that reduce the quote-unquote goodness of the act? I guess here's a better question. Is something a good act if it is perceived by others? Or is its goodness inherent in the deed itself? Dan, thank you for the follow! Uh, Jackson. Yeah, I've never played Fallout before. I've played, like, a lot of all the Elder Scrolls Bethesda games, but I've never played the Fallout Bethesda games. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. You mentioned a reward? No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not gonna come check. So here you go, just between us. Thanks, buddy. Bye bye Hey. You're asking if true altruism exists, and the answer is shrug. <laughs> I'd say goodness is inherent in the deed itself, but we're going off morality, which is also invented. <laughs> All fair points. Personally, I like to think you do it because you want to help and not for the clout involved, but I know it's better perceived when observed by others, which I don't agree with. You a courier? Yeah. If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit and your eyes are good. My eyes are not good, but I do like money. So. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe Jackson got some additional soldiers after all. Didn't take you for a trooper at first. You seem a little livelier than most. All right, if you're here to assist, good. That's what I want to hear. What's the problem? I think there's trouble in Nipton. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yes. Well, I can explain that away. The smoke from the town, I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. Um, can I just tell you that it's All right. the Legion? Look at you. I'll Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? Okay. Can I tell you what I saw? You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Town's been attacked. Well, if you didn't see anyone, they might be gone. Be just like Powder Gangers. See what you can find. Okay. 
Oh, I didn't go in the town hall. That's right. I'm gonna have to fight all the legionnaires though, because they're like all there, right? <sighs> no, don't be wrong. I understand what karma is for the functions of this game. I was talking about like in the real world. <laughs> Not karma specifically, because karmic karmic justice is very much a cultural practice. I'm talking more about, like, quote-unquote, the goodness of a deed. It's philosophy at that point. So, uh... Okay, so how do I equip armor-piercing rounds? How does that work? I'm gonna fight the Legion. I need I need those, right? An ammo. Uh I have a 5.56 armor piercing. It's the only armor piercing I have. So what uses a 5.56 service rifle? So I'm gonna have to fight these guys with this service rifle and hope for the best, I guess? Because the Legion's not gonna let me waltz in there, not anymore. They don't like me. Let's save. So... And let me make sure that this ammo is equipped properly. There we go. Ooh. Oh, what the hell? Who are you? This guy's not dead yet? Oliver hasn't died, y'all. Tomas. Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Who? Not for long. I met her on the road a few days ago, and we've been traveling together since. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Lucky Charm necklace? Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. Once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. Oh, all sorts of people are looking for caps like those. You'd be safer if you got rid of them. Really? I had no idea. And here I've been carrying them all this time, never knowing how dangerous they were. What do you think I should do with them? Bury them or something? Oh man, that's mean. I could be like, oh, hold on to it for you. Mm. Um. Aren't they really expensive? I'm gonna take them. They're all yours. I sincerely hope they work better for you than they did for me. Thanks. I can't believe Oliver's alive. Homeboy has survived. A lot. Their first side quest? Got it. Well, good thing I took them. <laughs> oh, wait, looter body? Where's her corpse? I don't know where her... He ran from over here. Here it is. Uh, cool. Thank you. Okay, I just have to go to the town hall without everyone here hating me. This is not going to end well. I don't know who Malcolm is, so I have not met them yet. All right, Boone, this is going to go bad. That looks like a bunch of bad guys. 
I don't have a lot of ammo for this. No, I need them to come to me. You're mine. Are you joking me? Retribution. Lopez and Colta? Oh my god. That goes to Noggin. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, shoot. I leveled up. Um... do that. I don't care if my stats are good or not. Rapid reload. Uh, swift learner. Bloody mess. No, I'm good. Ferocious loyalty. Fortune finder. Oh, more caps. Gunslinger. Ooh. My VAT's accuracy is not great. Should I grab this? I feel like Gunslinger is worth grabbing. Um. That or Commando. I think Gunslinger is good because it's for everything. Oh, no. It's pistol, rifle. I, I misread it. Okay. Abby, hello. Oh, well, hello. Uh, scrounger, you'll find more ammunition. That might be useful. Um. Fight the power! <laughs> no thanks. You have a higher chance to score a critical hit on an opponent in combat. Here and now immediately grants an additional experience level complete with all advantages that it brings. Nerd rage! <laughs> You've been pushed around long enough with the Nerd Rage perk. Your strength is raised to 10. You gain 15% damage. Sorry, plus 15 damage threshold whenever your health drops to 20%. Animal friend I can't get because I don't have enough survival for it. Here now is awful. Got it. Oh... With the robotics expert perk, you do additional 25% damage to any robot. If you can sneak up on a hostile robot undetected and activate it, you will shut that robot. You will shut. Oh, this is the perk y'all were talking about. I kind of want this one. That's convenient. Um. I think I kind of want finesse or robotics expert. Command most useful in the end because I mostly use rifles. Oh, you have to be able to sneak on them. Alright, then I'm gonna grab finesse for now. Cause that'll just that'll just be useful overall, right? I think I'm gonna grab that. Um uh, cool. I'll take your junk and sell it. Hi, Don. Hello. Welcome in. Save. It was patched because the Fallout 4 robotics perk was broken. You could use it just by looking down a scope. Oh my god. That's extremely broken. I'm guessing this is the town hall. Because it looks like a house. No, yeah, it is just a house. I killed an important NPC. Is that bad? Did I mess up? Was this guy important?
The Legion won't like it. They already don't like me. It's fine. Where is the town hall? Huh? It's telling... Oh, one of the top generals? Well, pfft, he kind of sucked me. He didn't do all that good, huh? He's freaking dead. Oh, cowboy repeater. I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, the Legion already hates me, and I don't like them. So that's fine. This is the town hall. All right, let's clear it out then. Oh, you get more karma for killing him than anyone else? Oh, god dang it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a quick break while I boot the game back up. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello. We're going to get the game back up. At least to the best of my ability. Good thing I saved... pretty recently, I think. So let's see... Didn't I save right before going in? Oh, I, I saved when I got in. Oh, well, that sucks. Everyone is dead. They're not using their clothes anymore, so I'm gonna sell them. Oof. Dead on the counter, that sucks. Oh, man, in the bathroom? Oh, that super sucks. Died on the toilet? Um... Okay, my lockpick's not high enough. Oh! oh. Oh, they're just dogs. Hold on. I don't want to waste my fancy ammo on that. Boon. 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 Thanks, Boon. Oh, thank you. Danger dogs. Uh, I could find a key to that door. That's what I figured. Oh, man. The Legion hecked up all y'all, huh? This is a huge town hall. It's impressive that this building survived the apocalypse. I don't want to waste any of my fancy ammo. Look, I have so many energy cells. I have 669 pieces of ammo for this weapon. I'm not hurting for energy weapon ammo, you know? That's true, Zilla. Everything else that happened was pretty messed up, so maybe this was the better... I don't want to say outcome, because it's still awful, but if you have to choose, right? Thank you for the head pats. So dark. I can't see nothing. Uh I love when I just find free ammunition. Oh, the Mojave was spared direct nuclear strikes. That would also explain how people are able to live here at all. Oh man. Got stuck in the chairs. Ball cap with glasses. Interesting. Uh, okay. H Bomber Guy did a great video on this, but it's full of spoilers. <laughs> Shadow, thank you for the follow. I'll have to uh, watch it when I beat the game. I do love video essays, especially about video games. Most of, 
I have seen so many video essays about games I've never played. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have to check that out after I beat this because I love that kind of stuff. Especially because games like this, there's definitely sometimes quests that like it's a blink and you miss it situation, you know? Um, like in Skyrim, there's quests that I'm still discovering, you know? And I've been playing that game for like 10 years, right? Um... So I like those kinds of videos because sometimes you'll find out about like secret quests or incomplete quests or unmarked quests and that's always fun to discover. Look alive, we got friends. Are they dogs or are they people? They're dogs. Except not anymore, it's dead. Oh my. <laughs> nice shots, Boone. Same for me in this game. I didn't know you could help the ghoul trapped in the one room at Repcon until I saw you do the quest. Really? That's cool. I gotta be careful. I'm gonna, like, run out of inventory space. I just wanna sell all this junk. Why does no one have- <gasps> What the hell? What the hell was that? Was there a bomb? On the ground? Ouchers. I'll take a... Sunset Sarsaparilla. Oh, cool, you get bottle caps from drinking those? I gotta be grabbing those more often. Hold on, I don't want the empty one. Oh, there was a mine under the body? Dang. That's cold. Oh, just to mess with looters. Wow. All right, I'm gonna have to be careful. Shoot, that's dastardly. I didn't know that, Starry. All right, I guess we'll go up again. Ooh, this is a pretty building. There might be more than just dogs up here, so I'm gonna wanna be careful. Is this room locked? Nothing in here. Okay. Sorry, after that crash, I really don't want to not save enough. Does that make sense? Ooh, this is a fancy office. It's so fancy schmancy in here. <gasps> Big book of science. Prison break. Tony was kind enough to build this terminal and set it up for me, all for 30 caps worth of Rosie. 
The life of a mayor suits me just fine. I'm glad I didn't go any further east. I'm making plenty of caps right here off Rosie and Sylvia, who attract plenty of interest from troops to the Mojave Outpost. At the Mojave Outpost. Guess you spend enough time standing around that backwater and you're ready to hop on something that looks like a mole rat. That's so mean! The local, quote, shops are all giving me a percentage of sales to the troops because it's my girls who bring them in. They think they're shrewd negotiators for getting me to accept a 15% cut instead of 20%. Another year in this dump, two at most, and it's back to hub for me. Maybe I'll run for office there. Ha! Mayor Joseph B. Stain. Doesn't that look official? High roller. A promising development, if I do say so myself. It seems things went to hell at the NCR Correctional Facility north of here, and the escaped prisoners are roaming free. Sounds like a bad thing, and would be if not for the political acumen and interpersonal alchemy of yours truly, Mayor Joseph B. Stain, Esquire. I sent the gyms out to make contact with the prisoners, or powder gangers rather, they insist on this name. To let them know Nipton is open for trade with free turns with the girls as door prizes. I don't feel bad about this guy dying anymore. You know they went for the deal. As sold by Little Jim anyway. Big Jim busted peace. I see a lot of potential here so long as I can keep the NCR troops and powders, ridiculous name, from running into each other and shooting it out in the streets. Luckily, the troopers only come at night, Double entendre. <laughs> oh god. So if the powders will only come during the day, again. <laughs> I'll have them coming. Third time, the charm, and <laughs> going. Oh my god. Testing. I can hardly believe my luck. Literally, I'm agape. Just now I was approached by a rather intense young man calling him young man calling himself Mr. Fox. Yeah, right. When we were alone in my office, he let it be known he is a member of Caesar's Legion. Oh, Volpes. It's Fox. That guy that we murdered. He knew that NCR troops and powder gangers often spend time in Nipton. It turns out that the Legion hates and wishes to make an example of both groups. The NCR for obvious reasons and powder gangers for harassing Legion raiding parties on this side of the river. I didn't have to think a moment about Mr. Fox's proposition before accepting it. All I have to do is convince the powders to kidnap the NCR troops at night. When both groups are in town, the Legion boys will scoop everyone up. Ha! For this simple task, I've been offered 8,000 caps! I could almost go back to the NCR right away, but who knows how much else I might make off this Legion lackey. I'm gonna start stockpiling supplies here in the safe house between here and the Mojave outpost, just in case I decide to head back home in a hurry. Very excited! Signed with a steady hand, on the keyboard, Super Mayor Joseph B. Stein the Third Esquire. Reset mainframe connection. Connection reset, handshaking complete. Interesting. I wonder where your little spot is. Your little... Uh, hidden... Place. So this guy got got by the Legion. He was dumb enough to invite them in. Oh wait, actually, how good is that? Oh, it's not. Um... Yeah, yeah, no, he was- he was not treated well. We learned that much. And I don't feel horrible about it, I'm being honest with you. I wonder if we can find the mayor's halfway house somewhere. I don't know where it would be, though. Doesn't look like there's anyone up here, so that's good. But there's still scary music, which I don't like. You can? He said it was somewhere between here and the outpost, so I'm sure I just have to look for it, you know? Okie dokie. So let's get out of here. I'm glad I looted this place, though. I got some good stuff, and now I can sell it all at the outpost. So that'll be good. Ooh, bird! Hopefully we can have people move back to Nipton, though, because this is, like, a perfectly good town. In a time where I'm imagining that it's hard to, like, build new construction... 
now that the Legion's out of here, they should really move people back in. Alrighty, ghost. Ranger ghost. What a, what a weeb name. <laughs> oh, it stays abandoned? Oh, that sucks. That's a huge bummer. God, it's like Helgen. I wish you could rebuild Helgen in the game. You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Yes, it was attacked by the Legion. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. That's not outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... All right, thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. Did you have friends there? In Nipton? Hell no. Town was a shithole, asking to be burned. Just not by Legion. Nobody deserves that. Yeah, I'm with you there. Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting, but orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's going to hell, and all I can do is sit here and watch. I mean, you can still protect people here, though, and I think that's... Oh, hey, I got fame with the NCR for doing quests for them. That's nice. Oh, it's because of her pale skin color, not because she's like, you get, you get murdered. And, and you don't even know who did it. It's like a ghost. Burning pile of bodies just raises the property value. Hello. Oh my god. Background? I want to sell my junk. It was not worth a lot, but money is money is money. got a lot of caps. Holy damn. What the hell? Oh, I have to read that book. These are heavy. Uh... Thanks. Fine then. I'm glad that she's willing to buy all my garbage. You come around like a bad. I helped out Jackson. Guess that settles that then. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. What are you gonna do now? No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. I just thought, oh, you could come with me! You got one too many by my... Oh, but Cass is a follower now. Cool. Okay. Nice! I got a new friend! Friend get! Oh wait, let me save so I don't crash. Between loads. I have to sneeze. Ugh. I'm okay. Uh, I have to go back to Miss Alice. I exposed the Crimson Caravan? No, I just... I just helped them buy out a... dying cart caravan situation. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Ugh, sorry. I try not to be sneezing into the mic. I have to wait for her to wake up. Alice, I have business! Stylus, welcome in! Hello. Welcome back. I'm sorry, Sly, I met- I read your name so wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I gotta- I gotta increase the size of my monitor again. Cassidy's been bought out. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. Interesting that I got NCR fame for working with the caravan. It's I didn't expect that. Cool. Hmm. 
Why isn't this quest completed? I completed it. Oh well. Vault 22 I can't do yet. So that's fine. Um... Guess I'll go to... Freeside. Um... Oh, if I take Cass on? Oh, okay. So it's not broken. That was my only concern. I should talk to the kings, I guess. I keep putting that off. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Crispy squirrel bits. Now I really gotta talk to the king. That was nice. To Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. No, shut up. All right, let's figure out why the king likes me. What's your deal? What? Hey. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? I'd like to see the king if possible. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? I'm new in town and wanted to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Y'all, this is some queen. mafia shit. The king's the bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. It's like if you just coated, put, painted the mafia in a coat of paint that looks like Elvis, but this is some mafia shit. <gasps> Robot dog? What the hell? Hello. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? I was hoping you might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Uh, what do you need me to do? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yes. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fella named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Uh, why are you so interested? You may have noticed that some of those guards out there are kings, too. I'm just looking out for my men. I'm not trying to get some kind of unfair advantage. I just want a level playing field for my boys. So, what do you say? All right, I'm interested. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Nice, all right. At least I don't have to pay for that. Thanks. How do you make a bionic dog? They're like a cyberpunk poser gang! <laughs> Hello, friend! I've never played this before, and so far the kings just... They just operate like the mafia. Hi. And I don't... <laughs> I don't know if uh, I vibe with that yet. Um... Alright, I met Oris when I first came in, so I... Let me go... Whoops, all Elvis. <laughs> they mean well? I don't know. Listen, I shouldn't have to spend money to meet someone. That's suspicious. Hello. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. Uh, how much for your services? 
200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the south gate. Okay. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Okay. Is he gonna, like, set me up? Is it gonna be, like, a faked crime, so I think I need a bodyguard? To your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there... Hey, you're the one who's been going around... Shut up! I'm in the middle of my here, core, right? bud! We don't know King each other! To keep up the good work. Thanks. Right up. Not that I ever knew their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. If it can they be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Okay, interesting. That's the kings. Right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freesaw till you've been to the Wrangler. Mmm. Yeah, that guy totally blew my cover. <laughs> hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. I feel like I'm gonna get extorted. It's okay, I got a big old plasma gun. You know what? I should save. This feels like a trap. This does not feel safe. Hmm. You're running awful fast, bud. Gotcha. Thought you could ambush us, huh? What the hell? Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. You only fired three shots and there's four guys. Was that not a blank? Noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Or, mm, why did you run ahead like that? Call it a hunch. You do this job for long enough, and you learn to trust your instincts. I I need to report back to the king, so I have a feeling those were blanks. Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. All right, let me go loot those bodies. And then let me tell the king. Eat this. What the hell? Thanks, Boone. Examine the body closely. Quick study reveals the thug is still alive and merely pretending to be dead. Alright, well, I mean, I figure I could glean that much. So, time to tell our new buddy. I called it. I was like, this has to be a ruse. Thank you for the follow, Dark Clown. Hello. Alright, King, I did as you asked. Elvis would be proud of you. I don't know if that's actually the case. <laughs> Why do you need med 30 to know if someone's pretending to be dead? <laughs> you know, that's a good question, actually. How can you, how do you need like proof that they're bleeding to know? What do you have for me? Or is this a fraud? He fakes attacks on his clients and then plays hero. So that's how it happens. Okay, then. I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something. So maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked. And I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over. See if they remember anything. Uh, 
Oh, sure. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Okie dokie. <laughs> Welcome in, Dark Clown. I'm doing pretty well. Hi. Uh... Alright, the fort's just passed here. Snuffles, my beloved. I still have to fix up Snuffles. That's the that's the giant mole rat in uh, Sloan, right? At the time, I didn't have a high enough medicine to help it, but I've been working on getting my medicine up so I can help that thing out. I don't remember what the medicine check for that is, though. Is this it? Yeah. Who are you, Wayne? I ain't got any reason to talk to you. Scram. Ferris, wake up. No? What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Your friend looks like he's in bad shape. Yeah, the docs say he's gonna be laid up for a while, assuming he doesn't get any worse. The king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. What do you remember? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. Hmm. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it. Sad to say. Uh, you remember anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. Okay. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. You gonna talk to me now? That true? Did the king really send you? He did. I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Every bit helps, sure. Sorry I couldn't help. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him. Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant. <laughs> the boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. <laughs> All right, interesting. So, hey, Lieutenant is NCR stuff, right? That doesn't bode well. Lieutenant, my beloved. <laughs> Galileo, welcome in. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. What the hell is that sound? Huh? What was that? Don't what do you mean don't worry about it? It sounded pretty bad. All right, well... Personal space meaning anything to you, Oh. Have you found anything out? Local men were attacked by soldiers. One of the men was identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas. But now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. All right. I like Julia, so you keep your mouth shut, sir. You're not gonna, you're not gonna talk smack about my Hi. friend. Walks up the door, door rattles in. Here. <laughs> Before the game crashes again, we're gonna get in a save. Wow, 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 wow. We're not even allowed to sell people only at Mick and Ralph's. 
I'm gonna... St what is this? That thing is so gross. I don't like how it moves. I don't like anything about that thing. It's gross. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, buddy. Great to see you again. You know anything about NCR soldiers here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. Hmm. What about it? The king thinks those troops have been attacking locals. I'm gonna tell her everything. I like the followers more than the king so far. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else? Nope, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey. Okay. So, the major is... Where? I don't know where any of these map markers are going, and that's so confusing. I'm not gonna kill the rat, I'm just saying I think it's ugly, but hold... I'm not okay. murdering anyone's pet, all right? I'm not heartless. That'd be extremely messed up. Oz, hello! I'm well, how are you? We're just trying to, uh, investigate some stuff. Try and figure out if the NCR is gonna hurt people or not. Oh, the kid's trying to eat it? Ew. Who are you? Hello. Don't think I've seen your face before. Are you a citizen of the NCR? Sure am. I just recently arrived here from California. You don't look like you're from around here, so I guess I can believe that. Just head to the northwest part of town, by the old train station. We start handing out supplies at six every night. There'll be some guards by the door, but just remember that the password is HOPE, and they'll let you by right quick. Um... But only for people from California? That's kinda crummy. Who are you? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why is there just a corpse here? Why did you mur- I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Y'all are suspicious. Over here! What do you mean over here? Where, Boone? I gotta talk to this guy again from the looks of it. Why do you have your gun out? Put that thing away! Is he attacking the thugs? Alright, I guess I'm gonna murder the thugs. You're not dying. Um. He doesn't count as a person.
Yeah, he fused with the building. Howdy. Howdy. I'm in your walls. Are they supposed to attack me? So I feel like the thugs usually do. Thank you. Let's see if we can re-roll this event. Maybe I triggered it wrong by jumping out of a building. Let's just go the long way around. Should I talk to this guy first or go to the thugs first? Which, which, which event should I be triggering? Hmm. Talk to the thug? Okay. Why is he waving at me? Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. Friend of yours? Nah, just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? No. So it was just one of those, like, oh, we're gonna murk someone situations. I hope it was worth it. You ding dong. I'm carrying a hammer and I'm wearing burlap. Better take on this heavily armed and armored person being escorted by a sniper. <laughs> right? It's kind of dumb. Free XP, baby! Alright, let's talk to the missionary again. Hello. Hello. Ba 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 ba. Thank you. Hello again. Remember to stop by one of these nights. Northwest. Okay. Now I go this way. There we go. We fixed it. I don't think I can go through there. I have to go around. Ashley, am I going? Am I going straight through? Yeah, okay. So what happens if I help that kid get that rat? Now what do you want? Hey, you're the one who's been Thanks for the caps, I guess. Still don't like I don't know how to feel about this. Hello there. I don't know how I feel about the king yet. This is boarded up, so this can't be where it wants me to go. Oh, here at 6 p.m., right? They said. Kids could be chasing the rat forever. That's a crummy existence. Is this right? No, this is not right. I think I'm supposed to wait here. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Save. And I'm gonna wait. Aren't there supposed to be people here? more 
this way. Mimi. Ghost is albino? Oh, that's interesting. Hold up. What's the password? Hope. Head on through. But why are you gatekeeping care for only some people? I don't like that. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Uh, are you here with the military? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. Do you serve to locals as well? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? Yes, but I was afraid he wouldn't get served. You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Well, that's nice. Yes. Was there... Why don't you serve the locals? That's not really a... Julia Farkas told me to ask. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book. Mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now, there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back. Hello? All right, King. Um, either somebody intercepted it and posed as the King's to muck up this deal or the king's not being honest with me it's one of the two all right this is very suspicious it's a good thing there's this little Side door. All right. Zelman, hello! How are you? I'm playing Fallout for the first time. We're trying to figure out some stuff for the kings. But I've been well. You want someone dead? Really dead? No, I can make someone dead myself. Hello. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Yeah. Um, they're still, they're distributing supplies in a building by the station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? They're only giving it to NCR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said they sent someone to discuss this with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? Yeah, and then the guy got beaten and didn't survive. Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstand. What the hell? Why am I locked? King, we've got problems. Play it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. All right, I'll do your dirty work, you coward. Personal space meaning. Thirteen-hour work days. Ugh, I'm so sorry. That sucks. I'm glad you had time off. God, that blows. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got I can make someone dead myself. That's my point. Why am I going to pay someone when I can do it? What the hell? <laughs> Camera pans, NCR is running on top of a chair. <laughs> We're going to get another saving. Because sometimes the game crashes when I open doors. Yo, whoa, stop that. Stop with the Rudy Tootie. Stop with the point and shooty. How do I stop this? Alright, 
I'm gonna have to go talk to them. You there. Keep your hands where we can see them. Draw a weapon and we will fire. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. We're friends. Stop shooting. You have a leader up here that I can talk to? How do I stop this? All right. Um. Hey, this isn't really a good time. What did you want? The kings want to help. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no, thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know about it. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Thank you. Still got some dead guys, though. Um... Alrighty, now I have to go haul all the way back to the king. Hey, sir. The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. I think you don't like the fact that I'm better at your job than you are, Mr. Pacer. I think Pacer's up to no good. Maybe he cut a deal with the lieutenant. Strife can be good for business, you know? That or he's just too full of machismo to be able to rub two brain cells together. It's one Come of the to two. The rush for all your energy Open enrollment. Cool, cool, cool. All right, buddy. Where'd you go? What the hell? I don't feel like waiting for him, like, hunting him down. It's just easier for him to sit where he sit. I don't want to have to go figure out where he's wandering. He's one brain cell fighting for a <laughs> Fighting a mirror for third place. What's up? Is he not in here? Oh, upstairs. There's a stairwell. That makes sense. Oh, I just have to figure out where it is. Here we go. Is there a third floor? Bathroom. Bathroom. Very sad bedroom. Here we go. All right. What's up? Oh. Hey, man. Hello. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty. So I'll tell you what, just this once, Name whatever you want, and if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. know if I want to be in debt to this Things guy better since you helped with those so where'd you get the dog I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago he was a little dinged up when I got him but one of the followers fixed him right up there's something wrong with him he's been acting peculiar for some time now I took him to the followers and had him checked out and they said his brain is bad or something and they do anything no they said they don't have the tools to help him can I help? 
I don't know. Maybe. Your best bet would be to talk to Julie Farkas. Okay. All right. I'm so sad. You're all hurt. Like, yeah, so he's in debt to me, right? But this is still mafia stuff. I don't do mafia stuff. I... Mm. Ultimately, like, the kings are still looking out for the kings, you know? What's up? Uh, how do I get the hell out of here? Here we go. No, I, I, I understand he owes me a favor. I just don't like having to deal with a cycle of debts to be paid and repaid. Alright, Julie's this way. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. I don't care about Mick and Ralph's. I want to talk to Julie and see if I can fix a robo dock. I mean, I have enough science and medicine. I could probably figure something out, right? Where are you? Hello. Great to see you again. Uh, I want to fix the dog. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. So you can't heal him? No. Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. Is there anyone who could do that? There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. Okay, thank y'all. Where the hell is Jacobstown? Tell King. All right. Yeah, we have a dog brain. I don't know how good it is because it's just been sitting in my pocket in the desert. But, you know. How hard could it be? <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. He said northwest, right? That's over here. Is it that little road? I can have mold on it now. <laughs> yeah, I think I have to talk to King first, and then I'll get the, um... Wait, that is East. I got it backwards. Uh, but I think if I talk to King, then I'll get everything else. So, that'll probably work out there. If There's different fall, brain options? I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Do you mean, like, different animals? <laughs> Can King come downstairs? I don't want to have to go all the way upstairs to talk to him. Thank God. Uh, I'm stuck. Hello. Things have been a lot better since you helped. There's a man in Jacobstown. She said what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about up oh in my a few God. Tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway. That's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. Mm -hmm. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? All right, I'll take him to the doctor. I can't thank you enough. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, no. little rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Is this real? Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you'll see to that. I wish you both luck. So I gotta get Boone to take his hat off? Where is Rex? I guess he's in my party. Oh, there you are! Hello! 
Dino, hello! How am I liking it? I'm really liking Fallout so far. I think it's a lot of fun. You're so cute. I like him. Alright, so now I have to go... Oof. I guess I'll just follow the road and go up and around. Uh, cool. So, we know what we're doing next time. We're gonna go fix a robo-dog. Because I like dogs, and I need them to be happy and safe at all times, or I will cry. Thank you so much for joining me for more Fallout. We'll play more next time.